Hey guys, this is Taz Vortex, and I am back with another Creator Class video on Black Ops 2. And this one is going to be the LSAT. I haven't named it yet, but this one's going to be the Long Range Sniper LSAT. So basically, I chose an LSAT with Target Finder, so pinpoint accuracy, foregrip to keep down the recoil to keep it pinpoint accuracy, as I said, and quick draw to aim faster. Hardline to earn my score streaks faster and toughness so I don't flinch less, keep that accuracy as always. The cap 40 for close range, checking my corners and all that. And fast mag so I can reload fast if I run out of ammo. Usually a whole clip on this kills one person so I have to reload a lot with it. And then the tactical insertion so if I die I can just have my tack right there and spawn back the same spot and kill that person over. And primary gunfighter, just so I can have those three main items on my gun. So yeah, I will be back with the gameplay for this in theater mode. Hey guys, I am Task Vortex and I'm back here with another Create a Class video. This one is the LSAT and I changed up some stuff in this gameplay from the creator class setup that I showed you. I exchanged extreme conditioning for the cat 40 and took off or actually I exchanged the bouncing betty for extreme the, the bouncing betty for the cat 40. I traded those two out. And I go 36 and 1 this game and showing it in theater because my best gameplay of this gun so far. But I think I could do better if I actually tried. But that's the first time I die, and I don't die anymore this game. This is Team Deathmatch. And I'll show you at the end the score. So, you know it's legit. And, see, I have a Cat 40 right there. I also have Fast Mags on it. I took off the Tactical Insertion on here, too. But, you don't have to do that. I recommend not doing it. But, I use the Cat 40 for close range stuff. And I use the LSAT for long range. So, when I'm running through buildings, I use a Cat 40, or in tight spaces, I use a Cat 40. And for the LSAT, I usually use it for long range, as you see there. I just shot that guy. And I'll run around corners with the Cat 40, like right there. I'll check my corners with it. And then I'll pull up the LSAT 2, and I'll use as much ammo as I need in there. I don't have to worry about reloading, it's got plenty of ammo. I don't reload very much in this video, only when I need to. And see me right there. Get kills with cat 40, check on my corners. And the LSAT, I'll use it for some close range and some long range. I get in some tight situations in this too. But I get all my score streaks at least twice. See, I've almost I'm already a quarter of a way to my lightning strike. I think I could have got to forty and one. But I just didn't try that very much. I get a lot of kills with the Cat 40 and almost half the kills with the LSAT too. And usually I use my LSAT on long range maps. And then when I go into like a house or something, that spot out where I camp, I use my Cat 40. Cat 40 to check out the house. But um, now to get into what I'm going to do with my channel. I'm thinking I'm going to do a whole series of creative classes, and um, I'll update them as I go, but I'll do 10 videos of the classes I got so far, and then later on, when I prestige, I'll do 10 more, and just keep on going like that. And I will, like, I'll probably do Minecraft Let's Plays, that's what I've been working on right now. I've got a cake defense I'm working on on there, and... I'm using the cap 40 to got you. do close range stuff right now. So I can just get through my score shoots faster. Almost got a lightning strike. And I just like to sneak up on people with this class and get lots of kills with it. But Amen. I got this class off from another YouTuber and I just tried it out and I instantly like started to use it a long time. And then but gradually as you get used to it you'll always you'll um, start to do worse with it, though. That's the thing I don't like about it. But I usually use it for um, long-range maps. That's what I use this for. 
and it always it never fails me on long range maps such as standoff. I'll camp in a house. Um, almost died right there because of a sniper. Um, and I'll use it for Yemen stuff like that instead of a sniper because um this is more accurate than a sniper. It has a better recoil and um. I just do better with it. And as you see, I'll run out with ammo in the cap 40, and then I pick up the vec er, vector in just in time. I spray that guy down. So if you don't have scavenger on, I recommend this. See, I, I just got my AGR and my self chopper too. I deploy my self chopper, and then I call him my AGR right there. And then this is a pretty good class to use. See, I'm already at 11 and 1. And then I just like skyrocket in the next couple of minutes. But sorry, this video is taking so long. It's just showing off the glass as always. And this one I just thought was a good gameplay, so I decided to use it. And I had it in my theater, not doing anything with it. And then this is just kind of funny right here. Watch this. It, it's just shooting at his riot shield and like crap, I can't get around it. I'm gonna just run over to the side and I get stuck again. Lightning strike on standby. See, and that just earned me back my lightning strike. So, once you get these score streaks like that, then you'll keep on getting them over and over until the match ends. See, I just got another AVR. And they destroyed my stealth chopper. But I got another one here in a second. Doesn't take me very long. I just picked up this gun and I'm like, started using it the vector. I thought this was a really bad gun, I just thought it was good to camp with right here, so I could get my score streak. But my AGR just got double kill right there. But I do really good in this game. I deploy my self chopper, I throw my AGR right um, up here, and then I just kind of sit there for a while controlling my AGR. But I'll show you when I go like AFK to control my AGR. I'll show you me controlling it. Good hits. For, for immediate re -attack. Good effects. One kill. See right there, I, I was like backing off of a grenade. Contact your mark. But I usually do these creative classes on my own. Unless someone recommended it to me and they gave me the class, then I'll like put them in the video too. If I like the class, I'll put them in the video and they can talk about the class and stuff. But I'm just running around the map with this, trying to find people, and I can't find anyone. But, I do really good this game. See, right now I'm already 31-1. and one, But, I just end up doing really good. And I wouldn't even try. That's, I got... I don't know. I think I do. I just sit there AFK for a little little bit until I get it up. See, and I'm hoping I don't die too, because I'm doing so good. So I'm just using my AGR right there, hoping I don't die. Because I got the cyborg came on, and I can see you easily. But, um, I just kind of let my AGR run around, get me some kills, then I start using it. And, it seems to I only get couple kills and then the match ends because of the score limit. But I have a feeling I would have went over 40 and 1 if I would have kept on going in a different type of match game up. This is all in just team death match. So I got 36 of the 75 points for us. And my team's just sucking right there as you can see. And their team's sucking too. See, and this has a lot of ammo the AGR. Just like never run out, it's like a chain gun. And I'll use my missiles for long range people who are running and stuff like that. But see if they can start coming towards me and I'm just like, oh no, they're gonna get me and my AGR is too slow. But I still wanna use it. So I just keep on using it. I'm at 35 and 1 and the match I'm at 35 and 1 and the match is about to end. And I just keep on using my AGR. And my mic got unplugged there, so sorry. But I get one more kill and then the match ends, sadly. I would have kept on going in domination and just did epic. Objective almost but complete. Don't quit 
Yeah. I got 36 and 1, and this is a really good match to show off my gameplay with the LSAT, but it's not the best I could have done. See, I just get a double kill right there, spawn kill. And then the match ends right there, right after this. And I'm just stuck there trying to search for people. So, yeah, I'm fixing to wrap up this video in a couple of seconds. So, I'm just gonna. Peace out. This is Task Vortex, and this is the end of this video in a couple of seconds. So, be sure to check out my channel, like and subscribe if you like the content, and I'll let you watch the final kill. Objective so, yeah. Well, there's no final kill.